It's all about trying to get the ultimate fish. Everybody wants the big one. Glad of myself for chasing uh, your land based record for shark fishing. We went down chasing whalers and hammerheads and other species like that and happened to come across a, a white pointer. Well, when you grow up watching movies like Jaws and you see the great whites, you think I'd love to catch one of them. Boat Harbour's a very quiet little fishing town. Uh, a few holiday houses. I don't mind the area, it's nice and quiet, but it can get boring sometimes. You always got to look for something different to do. That stretch of beach would have to be probably 40-odd kilometres long, and if there's not 100 sharks within that stretch, I'd be pretty dumbfounded. Glenn and I were trying to work out an easier way to bring in the bigger fish, and um, we sort of come up with the idea of a game chair. Quite simple, just a uh, plate folded to the bottom of a normal pub chair, gimbal there for your rod, and not to be left out, the built-in stubby holder. Must have a stubby holder. <laughs> Sometimes when we come down here, it's just a split-second decision, and as you can see, it's not going to be easy to try with the bait. We've got our salmon, we've got our 18 now. And there you go, there you have the perfect shark bait. And we tried every avenue to get a bait in the water and couldn't get a bait in the water. So one day we just sat down and said, well, the only way we're going to get a bait out where we want it and get it to stay there is hop on a surfboard and paddle it out. Good luck, River. Hop on, break. As far as paddling out, mate, that was <laughs> oh, way the world. <laughs> Get me out there. <laughs> it's like anything, you're driving on the road, you know there's people that can't drive, but you don't worry about them. It's like sharks, you know, you're there, there, you try not to worry about them. Just keep your hands going, left, right, left, right. Just paddle out until you're out far enough for the bait to be effective. You um, sort of have a quick look around, make sure there's no fins sticking up, and then you put your hands back in, turn around and paddle back in. Yeah, keep your toes up out of the water. I do anyway, I don't know about these guys. I don't like to drag my feet too much. Prime shark time. Exactly. For us, it used to stand for prime snapper time, which is just on sunset. But then when we started catching these sharks, we called it prime shark time. PST, brother. Yeah, you'll be right, you got another 10 minutes. I figured it can't be that dangerous. You're only out there for a couple of minutes. But the main problem was I can't surf. Just hanging onto the boards going through the surf was the main hassle. There was times where he fell off and that was <laughs> bloody crazy. <laughs> oh, I just laughed my head off. <laughs> just as I started going over the next wave, I saw something jump just off to the side of me and sort of had to clench my bum cheeks for a few seconds and then I looked at it again. It was a, uh, a dolphin coming up out of the water. Apparently there's supposed to be no sharks where there's dolphins, but um, we soon proved that myth wrong. Been out there a while now, he's slowly getting in. Oh, Alright, we've just had our first hook up. We just got the second bait out and uh, we're on already. There's his jump. He can't believe that we're already hooked up. We certainly um, got the heart rate jumping a few beats, that's for sure. Didn't worry me that much. I used to try to catch a wave in and have a bit of a surf while I was out there anyway. Oh, go groove, mate. Got a set. Is that a fin behind your groove? That was probably the biggest rush of the whole thing, was getting back in. You could feel the adrenaline rushing through your body, just knowing that, whoa, I'm back here again. I made it again. For one of them rods to be going off before you even got back to the beach, you must have been dropping the bait virtually on the heads. Here we go, something here. See the bait? Go through the water? Yeah, mate, I'm on, I'm on. Look at the tension in that face, ladies and gentlemen. Sheer strength. Reeling a great wide, it's just something that not many people have ever done before, let alone off a beach. The line's definitely a connection between you and the fish. It's like playing with your dog in the backyard, fighting over a piece of rope. He'll shake his head this way, so you shake your hand that way. It's a battle of concentration. You've got to, you know, play it out and get them in as quick as you can without actually harming the fish in any way. Yeah. 
sure it is in a big M head or now. Now she's a white. A lot of people you talk to have never ever seen one. For us to go down there and touch one, you know, biggest buzz of my life by far. Well, obviously, you tag them so that it sort of gives us an idea that we're not catching the same one twice. Beautiful looking fish. You realise that once they're out of their comfort zone, they're pretty placid. Oh, one of the sharks we got was just sitting there and squinted and, and smiled as to so, say, hey. Come on, fellas, hurry up. I want to get back in the water, you know? Yeah, we nicknamed him Brucey. Releasing the sharks back in the water is probably the biggest thrill you could ever have. It's a very humbling experience to actually let one go and watch it swim away. Go, 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 you good thing, go! They're unreal. They're just a great looking species. They deserve their fruit and they deserve to survive. I think it's given them a fair bit of notoriety in the community. They've actually, you know, put the put Stockton Beach on the map a little bit more, I suppose. All the little kids around town are going, oh, there's a shark builders, you know, and no, it, it, it was good. We had some celebrities. Well, I fished all my life, and I'd have to say that was by far the best fishing I've ever done. By far. Oh, wow. Here come the Duff boys after another beautiful tag release, but no doubt. There's some big ones out there.